So Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is learning the hard way that the Republican Party is not necessarily the safe space that he thought it was going to be. Just a few weeks ago, when he was running as a Democrat and Republicans thought that could hurt Joe Biden's chances, they loved the guy. They had him on every show. They shook his hand, patted him on the back. Oh, he's one of the more reasonable, moderate Democrats. He don't buy into all the wokeism and all the Democrat bullshit. He's one of the good ones. If more Democrats was like him, it'd be a better world. And the minute that he decided to run as an independent and they realized that could hurt Donald Trump's chances, suddenly now he is a radical Democrat. He is an extreme leftist now, and I think it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. I think it's absolutely hilarious. Because Robert F. Kennedy Jr. for years has been going around saying things like that Wi-Fi causes brain cancer, that antidepressants are the cause of school shootings, that chemicals in the water is turning kids trans, uh, AIDS might not be caused by HIV. I mean, he's been saying Alex Jones-level bullshit for years, and whenever he gets confronted and questioned about it, he always goes, well, you're taking it out of context. That's not what I said at all. And then when someone lays down the evidence to prove that there's none for anything he just said, suddenly he's being censored. I'm being censored. I'm being silenced. The media's out to get me. No, listen, censorship is not trying to silence you. That's, that's not what it is at all. If you stand up in a classroom and you say two plus two equals 75 and the teacher says, nope, wrong, it's four, they're not censoring you. They're not silencing you. They're not trampling upon your First Amendment right. They're just simply calling you out for what you said that there's no evidence to support your claim until, until you can come in and you can demonstrate how two plus two equals 75, you've got nothing. So this whole idea that he's being censored is absolutely bullshit, but it's just hilarious. How do people, how do people have the ability to jump through all the mental gymnastics it takes to be a Republican? Because literally last month, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., was a moderate. He was in the middle. He was a nice guy. They all loved him. And now he's an extremist. He's a radical. He's a Marxist. He's a socialist. He's everything. They sick the dogs on him now. How do you guys jump through those hoops? I have got people who has argued with me about RFK for a long time. And they've told me that I should be more like him. Hey, man, he's a Democrat. He's one of you all. Why don't you listen to him? And I'm like, look, we threw him out a long time ago. We don't endorse that guy. His own family don't endorse him. But now that they feel like he might be a threat to Trump, suddenly he's a radical. And we could literally go back and show you the comments you left and show you the status updates that you made. And they're apples and oranges. They're completely different now. Daylight and dark. You've changed your position totally. But somehow you will probably do like him about you taking it out of context. No. No, the context is you liked the guy when he thought he could hurt Biden. And now that you think he could hurt Trump, he's a radical. And to Robert F. Kennedy Jr., it could not have happened to a nicer guy. I think it's fucking hilarious.